As of August 8th, 2024, the National Oceanic and Administ Atmospheric Administration has confirmed 19 weather related disasters in the US, each causing over $1 billion in losses. Joining us with some insights from Verizon Frontline's annual public safety communication survey are Verizon Frontline President Maggie Hallback and US Customs and Border Protection Executive Director Joshua Goff. Maggie, what were some of the key findings from this year's survey? So Verizon has conducted an annual survey for the past four years, and uh, Verizon prides itself on a 30-year relationship with first responders, surveying over 40,000 federal, state, and local agencies. And this year's survey, we found three key takeaways. Uh, the first key takeaway was that reliable connectivity has become more important this year, 65% of respondents said it was a very important item. That's up from 51% last year. The second takeaway was that having an innovation partner that's working with you to develop new capabilities and new technologies to support your mission set was absolutely crucial. And then the third key takeaway was that 5G is going to continue to be very important to the first responder community. That's 66% of them said that this was part of ensuring that they could achieve their mission outcome. Well, Josh, how do the agents of U.S. Customs and Border Protection leverage technology to improve efficiency during both routine and emergency operations? Yeah, when, when you start with the mission, you consider how complex really it is with what Customs and Border Protection does. It's got to secure the U.S. borders. It has to enhance economic prosperity. And it's a, it's a large operation that requires significant coordination. And so your, your communications technology is what really becomes your lifeblood. That's how you push data. That's how you push information out to the field so that the agents, officers, and pilots can do their jobs. And now the technology is now modernized to the point where it's no longer just picking up a phone and making a phone call to somebody, you know, voice over. Um, it's full motion video. It's position data. And all of this information is now available to these folks to make that coordination that much more productive. And I'm, I'm really excited to see what gets innovated here in the future. So Maggie, what does the data from this year's survey tell you about the public safety community or like what the, the public safety community is most excited about when it comes to the future of communications technology? So last year it was all about drones and robotics. And uh, again, th those will remain uh, important and in fact have become more and more mainstream. This year's finding, 81, or excuse me, 75% uh, found that AI uh, was going to be important to them over the next five years. And you might say, AI and public safety, what does that mean? Well, you think about the amount of data that is coming at first responders and the dispatch teams that are responsible for deploying those first responders. All of the video, all of the social media, all of the mapping information, that is a lot of data to consume. And so being able to change the way that that data is served up, turn it from data to information, and then information into knowledge that then allows that first responder to not only keep themselves safe, but to be more quick, more agile, more effective in responding to the mission and keeping the community safe. So Josh, what role do you feel some of the technology Maggie discussed, things like AI and 5G connectivity, will play in the future for your organization and the agencies you work with daily? But if you wanna think about 5G as the connectivity, the, that's, that's really where the data just moves through. But what's more important is what Maggie had just said, it's we really wanna get knowledge into the hands of the agents and the officers and the pilots. And so AI allows us to take context and meaning and put it into the machine so it can help us make good decisions about things. If you consider, if we deploy to an area that's been struck by a natural disaster, there's questions that we really need answered at the speed of the mission. So think about where am I in relation to other first responders? Where should I deploy some of my communication systems? Uh, where are the other support assets that are, that are available to me? And probably the most important question out there during that time is who needs help first? How do we prioritize everything that we have available to bring it to bear? And that's what this technology can help us to do. I really think it's the, the next revolution in public safety management. 
Maggie, how is your company helping support first responders to ensure they succeed in their mission? So Verizon has built Verizon Frontline, which is a set of unique capabilities, purpose built, working over the past three decades with first responders to ensure that they have the communication support that they need when they need it most. Uh, we have over 600 deployable assets that not only go into spaces where uh, communications might be lost uh, due to an event, but also into areas where there might be low communications capabilities. And that can include things like small devices or very, very large pieces of equipment. It's really based on the mission set and how we ensure that the, per the performance of the mission is a successful one. Maggie, before I let y'all go, where can our audience learn some more about everything we talked about today? Verizon.com slash frontline. There you go. Easy enough. Thank you both for joining us this morning. We really do appreciate your time. And guys, if you want to catch segments like this again, head over to FCN Plus.